Don't play with her, don't be the silence Ay. Still not understanding this logic Ay. I'm back and I'm better, and I'm better. Hello my junior brother and Jelly Bean It's nice to be back, it's nice to have you guys here I took a little break but I'm back now I hope you enjoyed the last video Remember to subscribe and share now this video i want to make i want to talk about bosses and employees and things that employees do to annoy their bosses and i think personally to annoy their boss it is not good to frustrate them and let them view you in a negative light and um, the reason why i say this because i've seen it for myself i've seen uh, my co-workers uh, and other employees um, in different institutions um, that i've worked always try to be in the spotlight they always try to not the, the the boss not the, the the supervisor and i'm saying to myself why do you do that you have to keep in mind that people are people before their bosses people are people before their super um, advisors and they have a lot of things to do in their personal life and at work uh, bosses have a lot of paperwork to do they have a lot of people to pay they have you to pay they have everybody else to pay um they have bills all these stuff that are on their mind already um taxes to do all these stuff occupy their mind plus they have their family so they have to be focusing on so many things. So when you, the employee, you know, come and nag, nag, nag them, that is very frustrating because we're human beings, we're not robot, and, and everybody have a limit. And sometimes your boss snap. Um, I know a lot of people work, you know, for other people, and you have seen this before, and people say, oh, the boss should snap and stuff like that. But we have to keep in mind that they are human beings just like us, and they snap just like how we snap. Sometimes they, their tolerance level is a bit higher than the employees but people are people and uh, i think employees should not stress out their co-workers or stress out the boss or stress out the supervisor to the limit where they're going to snap don't always be in their face give them room to breathe let them see you working and you don't even make eye contact with them at all just do what you're doing let your work speak for yourself you don't need to be in the spotlight you don't need to be all up in their face and do this and do that and oh yes this and oh yes can you do this for me um should i do this this day and blah 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 no just do what you need to do let other co-workers you know hey she's a hard-working guy she's a hard-working girl i like her attitude and stuff you know she's not annoying and she doesn't bother me because these little things people gossip not everybody gossip but other people gossip and they talk a lot and you know things go around so if you're doing your job and you're doing it really good then you speak for yourself so stop annoying the boss um yeah so tell me in the comments below have you ever been in a situation like that where you are asking the boss too much questions or a supervisor too much question you're always there nagging them and not realizing it until it's too late until you're fired or whatever it is do you know co-workers that have done this um leave your comments below share it with me and just let me know what you think about the topic remember to subscribe and share for more videos one to two to three more video like this is coming right after this so remember to subscribe and share for more thanks for watching j vlogs i'm out